Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Thomas Park Reviews. Today we got a new microphone. Uh, works pretty good. It cost me a couple thousand grands. Um, so, you know. Hey, hey. Like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Hello? Like this. Hello? Does this mic sound better than my regular one? Let me know down in the comments down below. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're clearly defining Qubit Torrent. We're showing you a master guide. We're showing you how to take advantage of some features, how to use it, um, what is going on with this application, and you know, just overall a good guide on Qubit Torrent. So anyways, guys, so first off, we want to talk about just the basic controls. You will have your torrent file loaded in here. You will probably click on some kind of link on a website like the Pirate Bay or rgb.to, which is gonna load in a file into this application. It's usually gonna be something like a magnet link. So you open it up in Qubit Torrent. What do you do then? Well, you can play it, you can pause it, or you can delete it. When you delete it, make sure to delete the file on the hard disk if you wanna delete the actual download file. If you don't delete the file on the hard disk, you're just gonna delete the kind of the magnet link file that loaded in the download into make it so you can torrent the file so just keep that in mind in terms of here guys we can see a lot of information down here the peer section is actually going to show the ips the ports connection flags client progress and even the download speed sometimes of everyone who is downloading this file that you're downloading this is the way p2p or peer-to-peer -peer bittorrent applications work so what happens is, is that anytime you download or leech a file, you're taking it from a seeder or someone who is sharing the file. So it's kind of like a shared network here. And that's why you can see everyone's IP and everything like this, because that's kind of necessary in order for it to work. Anyways, guys, you can see information about the seeds and peers here. Generally more seeds is better. It means you're gonna download faster and you could even see stuff down here around uh, your download speeds. These are pretty good download speeds right now. I'm using Torguard's proxy, which is gonna give you insanely fast speeds. I highly recommend using that. I get between 15 to 20 megabytes a second, as you can see here, very fast. This torrent download is going by really quickly. Here is a speed graph where you could see the speed, um, your maximum speeds, your low speeds, kind of where it is going. This is very useful for testing out VPNs, testing out proxies, just testing out your speed overall in general. So that's kind of a cool feature I like. Here is some information about you know what is going on. You could see your save path and your speeds and so forth. Most of the complexity with Qubit Torrent, however, kind of besides these basics I've just showed you and how to operate it, um, come in the tool section. There are a lot of customization uh, settings here you can configure. You can configure how it behaves when you delete a torrent. So if you do uncheck this, as you saw before, if it asks you if you want to delete the file, it won't ask you that anymore. It'll just let you delete it. Um, anyways, guys, you can also customize things like alternating row colors. If you want it to, if you don't want this, you just want it to be, you know, plain white. You don't want the alternating row colors. Um, you can also customize other things like um, what happens when you double click something. You can up, uh, open the destination folder. That's actually pretty cool. Completed torrents. You can actually have a customizable kind of action for that as well. So I personally will make it so if I double click it, it will open it. And if I double click it, um, or if it's completed, it will start or stop or something like that. That doesn't really make sense. Why would it let you, if it's completed, why would you let you start or stop it? That doesn't really make sense. Well, maybe no action for that. So open destination folder when I'm downloading it. That's pretty cool. So you don't have to kind of like right click it. I'm pretty sure you can right click it to, um, let's see here. Open destination folder if you want to do that. You can open to see where it is going. There are a little bit more controls here, but for the most part, they're pretty self-explanatory. Um, in terms of the tools though, guys, we can go back to that. Here are some options to configure how it starts up. So if you want Qubit Torrent to start up when your Windows start up, uh, when your computer starts, you could click these options. You can make it start minimized. You can have a confirmation on exit when torrents are active. Um, so it will ask you, are you sure you want to exit even though something torrenting? Confirmation on auto exit. So when you exit, it will ask you, are you sure if you want to just exit instead of just exiting? Um, as well as some minimization options and cosmetic things like this. I could do the dark theme. I like dark themes. 
and you can even associate files with use for qubit torrent torrent magnet links so when you download a file it's just going to load right in really cool feature here is the power management so this is pretty cool um let's say you want to download a whole bunch of files one night but you don't want your computer to go to sleep and stop the downloads well fortunately you can actually stop this computer from going to sleep and keep your downloads going so that way when you wake up in the morning everything is going to be downloaded i would recommend checking this if that's the kind of activity you're going to be using in qubit torrent and we also have a lot of settings here to configure in the download section you could display torrent content and some options you could create a subfolder with torrents with multiple files if you this is mostly kind of stuff in terms of organization you can even configure if you want the torrent to start automatically or not or to delete the torrent file afterwards i think this is pretty good in terms of file management just keeping things neat keep in mind just click apply anytime you want to apply one of these settings now you can also pre-allocate disk space for all files this is pretty good just in case you don't have enough disk space it'll probably like warn you or something like that if you don't have enough disk space so you're not going to download something halfway and then run out or something like that and get into that problem you can also configure the saving management uh, in, in different ways and you can even have subcategories here you can even change the save path so this is going to change where your torrents go um, the actual downloads themselves where they're going to end up so do you want to put it in your movies folders do you want to put it in your downloads that's up to you and you can even change where the actual torrent file itself goes not just the download so again a lot of these settings are just kind of for organizational kind of features thing about this is it, let's say you change your default safe path you can automatically reallocate affected torrents which is pretty cool so again just kind of an intuitive kind of file keeping uh, record keeping kind of organization here that is very nice to see all right guys this is a very important part of qubit torrent and most torrent applications have similar sections so this is going to be kind of like uh the connection or more like the security kind of part of it um so most of the stuff you could just kind of leave how it is but the proxy server part is really what can make a difference so for me i prefer to use proxy rather than vpn for torrenting mainly because you're going to get much faster speeds so pretty much what you're going to want to do is use the exact same settings you see here uh, for host you're going to type in proxy.torguard.org you're going to make sure to click all these options here and then you're going to enter in your credentials for the chosen vpn provider you have i'm personally using torguard you can also type in other host information in that area or the various credentials you have for your chosen vpn and you'll probably be able to uh, get it working with a proxy server i know private internet access ip vanish and most of the bigger vpns do support proxies like this torguard is unique though because you can actually just specifically buy proxy access and not vpn access which is kind of cool it's really only around like three dollars a month or something which is actually a very good deal next up guys we have the speed area and you can pretty much leave most of this stuff how it is in terms of this area i would just kind of leave it is as it is as well rss doesn't really have too much stuff to configure and these kind of features are more for power users who really want to uh, control maybe qubit torrent uh remotely you can control it via a web interface you could connect to it through ip and stuff like this and configure you know how to access it remotely so this is good maybe if you're going on vacation and you want to download stuff or stuff like that overall i'm not going to cover this too much here but for power users who want to use it remotely this could be a good section to configure and here we go in the advanced tab we have a lot of stuff to take a look at you can bind qubit torrent here to the network interface so you can bind it to vpn client um, which is pretty cool so in effect this could act sort of like a kill switch so if your vb if your vpn it gets disconnected uh, maybe qubit torrent is going to be disconnected as well so you won't leak any information to bind to a specific ip address you could do that as well most of these other settings i'm not going to talk about them too much because they're not super essential to configure or anything like that if you want to take a look at them you can but that considered that kind of covers most of the options and the, some of the things you need to be taking a look at guys okay, so we kind of covered the basics here about some of the basic kind of interface here and uh, also some of the cool settings that you can configure as well as how to configure proxy and if you're looking to use a vpn just make sure to start up your vpn before you start um, downloading anything or loading it in even just to be safe and that should be pretty good to hide your ip in the peer section anyways guys let me know if you like this video and i could take a look at other kind of uh, bittorrent applications and let you know some tips and tricks with them as well but thanks for checking out this video i'll see you guys very soon as always tom spark stay secure